welcome to another video and today I'm down at Penberth, beautiful little cove in the west of Cornwall. Uh, the plan today was to shoot a bit of colour film. I haven't worked with any colour for quite a while, I've been shooting a lot of black and white. So yeah, looking forward to shooting a bit of colour. I've got a few rolls of Kodak Portra 400 with me, um, probably shoot a couple of rolls. I'm going to have a walk um, on the coast path over towards Popcano and see if I can just find anything interesting, get some nice uh, images as the sun goes down a bit. Um, I've shot a few images around Penberth here, uh, some boats, uh, the house and just the setting. Beautiful little cave. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited to shoot, shoot a bit of colour and see what we can get. So we're going to have a little walk up the cliffs and see what we can find. So I made it over to Logan Rock. It's been absolutely stunning. Lovely walk, um, probably a couple of mile walk. I managed to shoot two rolls of Kodak Portra 400. Uh, hopefully got some nice shots in there. Looking forward to seeing them. Haven't done any color work for quite a long time. I'm sticking to the black and white recently, but um, yeah, I'd like to get out and try shoot a bit more color again. So yeah, I'm gonna probably load up one more roll of film as that sun sets down. Probably got another hour, another hour. Uh, see if I can get another few, probably 10 shots on the, way, on the walk on the way home. Hopefully get a bit of color in the sky there. Um, yeah, all in all, really happy. It's been a lovely day. So what I've decided to do, uh, I've come back to the same spot that I stopped on the way. It's a Tattadoo lighthouse in the distance there with the three headlands leading out, which I like, and then all the, this uh, yellow gorse in the foreground. And what I've done, I've stuck a, a neutral density uh, filter on there, a 10-stop. Um, I don't often use the, the 10 stop with colour film. I tend to use it just with black and white. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. Uh, exposure times, I've, I've calculated uh, 1 minute 30, and that's with reciprocity failure. Um, be interesting to see if you get if any colour casts from the filter. Obviously with black and white, you don't, you don't really uh, have anything like that. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they come out. So I'm gonna, I might just take a few more shots, use up the roll on the way back with the 10 stop, and then uh, see how they come out. Exposure time's gonna be about a minute to two minutes. <laughs> So I've taken a couple of shots here down towards Penberth, looking down into the valley of the sea. Um, I'm going to do one at 110mm, this is what this one is, and I'm going to do one at 50mm for a wider view, more of the boats and more of the sea. Uh, exposure time's getting quite long now, uh, this one's four minutes, and I imagine by the time this one's finished, um, the next one will probably be, I'll probably give it five minutes. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they come out, I'm looking forward to it. 
uh, like I said, I don't often do long exposures on the colour film, so um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. And after that, I think I've got one or two more shots left, which I'll just use up down in the valley, uh, see if I can find something to photograph, and then head off home. Absolutely beautiful day, absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, brilliant. Half term as well, and it wasn't even that busy, which is good.